Hello guys, it's been a while since last video and today I'm going to show you how to install this roof rail and the crossbar for Honda Pilot 2016. I've been thinking about this long time ago when I got the car but it's so expensive at that time and there's no third party parts available so luckily it's available right now. I got these parts from Amazon. I think the name is Pulse Race. It's only half the price of the OME parts and basically same specs. So it came with two crossbars right here, two crossbars with those attachment and screws and also came with rails and the instruction on the left side that's for the installation of the crossbar and that's for the installation of the rail. So those two are separate. You can purchase those separately, but I just purchased as kit. And it's a little bit different from the the Honda instruction right here. This is only for the rail, roof rail. And basically you see here, it got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws on one side. So B and C, and you got a torque number there right here and here but this kit only came with this hexagonal screws and it's not the right here you see it's hexagonal screw it's not the like the honda manual side uh t i think this t sir torx it's not same but it works good too and i also prepare the torque wrench just to meet the specs and also it came with specs on the on the instruction here and the number five screw bit sorry right here see number five that's fit the screws came with it right here okay so first of all most important it came with the I don't know this how, how should I call this Mm, it's called hinge, hinge cover so when you remove this this clip for sure going to be broken doesn't matter how careful you are you're going to be broken during the remove of the original cover so that's good thing you come with it so you can fix it all right so first of all i didn't buy the pry kit i just used screw bit screwdriver and cover with the tape right here screw bit screwdriver flat screwdriver cover with um, paper tape to protect the paint just in case so the first step you're gonna remove here the cover right here okay i'm gonna remove and, and show you later so when you pre with the screwdriver or, or pre bar you just take this off easily and you can see there's a clip right here that's the one holding the position so uh, we need to keep this part and to use uh, to put it back after we install the reel. Okay, let's go back to the front right now. Okay, right now we're looking at the driver side, and and here is the the whole cover for this reel, and there's a stud under it. We need to remove this cover as well as the hinge cover in the back, like the triangle-ish stuff there. So first of all, just pry this part with pry bar or screwdriver right here and then slowly go all the way go back and you might break this clip doesn't matter we don't need this anymore and also all the way go back and make sure use something plastic or cover the screwdriver because you don't want to damage the paint and all the way back right there Okay, right now it's all removed. So according to the manual or instruction, here should be a screw holding this part right down there. But for my 2016 Honda Peller, I don't know why this doesn't came with a screw right here. So looks like I need to find something. All right, and I got some like orange, yellowish clip here. Take this off. We don't need this right here. Just 
slowly, gently remove this right here. It's going to be broken, doesn't matter. We don't need this anymore. And there's another white there and, and yellow there. So just remove it. Okay. So here, the, another one, just remove it. And this piece, we need to pre this off as well. So this little clip going to break anyway. Doesn't matter how careful you are, so don't bother about it. Because later on we got uh, the new piece there. There's a screw holding down in the position, so it doesn't really matter if this clip broken or not. And actually, it's good time to clean this. Okay, let me, one more time. Let me repeat again. I already removed the rear cover just now, and you can see here. And so the front is the fastener for the, the leftover piece for the whole rail cover. And this piece is one of the screw. See, it's smaller comparing to the second one, which is holding the crossbar right here. So you can easily tell the size difference right here and here. So you're not gonna miss it, believe me. So we got one smaller one, two larger one, again, smaller one, two larger one and in the all the way back there's another two smaller one there so one two three four five six seven eight total and then right now we need to cut the cover to the proper lines right here and we need to cut a little bit in front of the the, uh, the stud right here a little bit further so it can cover the rail going to cover the leftover piece, but not too short. I'd rather leave it be longer. If it's too long, I can cut. If you cut too short, there's no way to make it up. So I can cut from here. So right here is step number seven. You see, it says cut 7.87 inch or 20 centimeter. So I left around nine inch. So I can cut 8.5. You can use the receptacle saw or the hand saw. So I'm going to use the hand saw because this pretty thin aluminum, pretty easy to cut. So I cut around 8.5 inch from the line where aluminum started. Or total lines around 14, 13.5 inch. Okay, so that's the piece. So it's a little bit. Uh, it need to go to the under the the seal of the windshield, and remember, there's a clip right there. I don't know why they don't came with a screw. So just put this on, and we put the left side of the rear cover. Here is like a soft rubber. It's to seal the whole chunk from the water and dust and right here we put this in the position align the hose well make sure this cover the, the parts you just cut it so put in and there's another two screws when you put this in you can tell it's not moving anymore and also this piece go all the way and replacing the original parts right there Okay, so right here we already got this uh, aligned well, and this piece is going to replace the original parts. We don't need this anymore. And this hole goes to the screw right there. And there we go. You see, it goes in the hole, and the front one is not using, so it doesn't matter. So we just put this back in, and and put this screw in. That's it. Out. If I put the o-ring down right here, this nut is not long enough to hold to re reach the the screw down there. So I just didn't put the o-ring there. Instead, I put to the smaller one, and this looks like fits well. See, still got a lot of stride. And here, I just put this down by itself. 
it's ties pretty good right now and it catch a lot of strife should be fine and right now same here i put the o-ring right there and later i'm going to remove this two and put the o-ring in the front and then now i'm going to torque this down to the required number which is 16. So I just put the screw in because this uh, the beast hole is a bit shallow for the beast to to drive the screw all the way down but it's still durable just need to super careful otherwise uh, the the hole might be worn so it might be difficult to remove later on but whatever I just put this screw in and those are pretty sturdy it can shake and didn't see any movement there and then the last step just put the clip back on into red holes one there and this for there all the holes so just put this in and that's it one side is done and just duplicate every step on the other side and we're, we finish the installation of the rail and then later we're going to put the crossbar so that's it for today oh. I forgot to put this piece back on it's, it's moving a little bit but doesn't matter because the front part is holding by the screw there so just slide this in just decoration piece part doesn't matter and done okay so i didn't realize until i finished the installation of both sides of the rail so actually here you see i didn't put the o-ring there it looks like um, plastic but actually it's metal it's aluminum aluminum you see you see the wire from there see that's actually the aluminum and here the small screw that's the plastic that's why we need um o-ring down there but here actually it, it is aluminum weld in this piece of plastic so and another thing when you torque the screw right here you need to be super careful like i mentioned previously this hole is pretty shallow this hole is pretty shallow if you like uh, not careful enough it's pretty easy to get this damage but it's durable and i, I install this and this is pretty strong so just put this cover on like just the other side and that's it the reel is done so next time we're going to put the crossbar